Hello. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Isn't that a given? But what I really mean is a bit different from what you would normally get. Oh yeah, I haven't finished. With all the changes that's going on around in my life at the moment, moving house, in other words, um, it's made me realise a few things. One is that uh, I'm very disorganised. I did already know that part. The other is that I come across as being useless, which is um, its not entirely true. It's just whilst sifting through things and having to think about all this stuff, I've also added to my plate some of the things I used to do that I quite like to get back to doing. So now I'm in a position where I haven't got time to do all the things I should be doing down here, but I want to add some more things to it. It's a bit like I've got this yard full of cars that all need mending, so why don't I buy another one? It doesn't really make any sense. But in another way, it kind of does because it's that, um, uh, the only way I can do it is by suddenly uh, focusing on, see, I can't even focus on what I'm talking about. Anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hello, let's start. Behind me here we have a lovely Rover 400 called Gladys, which was supposed to be going up on eBay, but then due to some confusion um, on somebody else's behalf, potty, um, it hasn't happened. And now, of course, there is a fix I need to do on this car regarding the rear demister and it's staying on, consuming all of the power that the battery has to offer, and then, of course, not starting. And then setting the alarm off because there's no power in it. So I need to deal with that first thing. Let's see exactly how much power is left in this battery. That's not enough. No hanging around here today, straight on with leads onto this car, should start straight away. Or it may just trigger the alarm like it did the other day, causing me problems. Well that's unusual, that's not even got enough power to get through to this, that battery is so bad. Try again. Good. I love this car. This is so comfortable. I don't want to sell it. I have to. I have to. I've got to sell this car. Anyway, I can't remember whether I demonstrated this before, but there. Look, that's on. And it's not going off, which is what it's supposed to do. I'm going to, uh, first of all, put that battery on charge while it's here. It seems pointless taking it off just to put it on charge. Um, yeah, that battery's not got enough power in to charge it, so the usual trickery must begin. Any of these chargers won't start charging unless there's some power in the battery, which might seem just a bit backwards, but of course, uh, if there's no power detected, the battery charger, being intelligent, will assume it's not connected to a battery, but in fact, a fridge, or an Alsatian playing with a ball, and then it will start to charge that thing that shouldn't be charged with power and that could be dangerous so this system is obviously there for your protection and on occasion inconvenience yes by the way um i wasn't sure if this is pointless or not but um you know, now this is a doing sure things kind of day where i shall film ever so slightly bits of what i am up to and one thing i've been meaning to do for quite a while is put some alloy wheels away in other words, inside, because I've left them outside. And, uh, well, I've left them outside for ages and I don't know why, because it's easy pickings for the scrotes. Hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've just dug up the wheels. And I say dug up, I just pulled them from the stuff that was covering them up to put them away in here. Now I can tell you that I've got them. So that is one set of Rover 75 
15 inch wheels. Not the most glamorous of design, but much better for those that like to drive their car without their jaw aching. The tyres are good and good and rubbish and not bad except for that. They are for sale from me right now for £60. And then we have another set of alloys. These are unions. I did just check to make absolutely sure that they are called unions. So I typed in rubber unions and I didn't get wheels. I got union stuff. The people, the unions, you know, strike action, not wanting to go to work, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Now we have the set of five union alloys next to these 15 inch. And these ones are a nice design, rather dirty, and can be yours. Oh yeah. I don't even have a Rover 75 to put them on, so there's not a lot of point in me keeping them. So, um, if you want them, some tyres are good, some aren't. They're more comfortable than 17s. Just in case you happen to be missing, not seeing Busted and Multi do lunch this week, I'm doing it by myself. How about that though? What can you do with all that free time that you've now got because you've not had to watch those two clowns eat dinner together. Whilst crossing the road then I saw an MG ZT in trophy blue um, and they didn't seem to know who I was so even now not all MG people in this town know the escapades of mustard. That's disappointing. <laughs> You know, it's probably time I oh, took this out. So with a flat blade screwdriver and a bit of paper to protect the plastic, this levers out nice and easy. Oh, don't lose that in there. That's not a good idea, is it? And then the next simple step is to walk down to your Rover stores and grab yourself another one. Easy, eh? The next step is to stick it in the hole once you've plugged it in. Okay, it's time for a break from what I'm doing here to go and make a different bit of video and go and look up an old YouTube person. Well, this is getting late on in the day now and I will be going, but have I made much progress today? Uh, well, not as much as I could have done, but you know, I've done some. And not only that, I've had something arrive in the post. Another gift. And just in case you want to send gifts to me as well as Top Don, then uh, here is the address. Look. Oh, shall I switch that off? I think I will. Now this is a package for me, which I will attempt to open with one hand so that I can record myself Unsuccess and so I can unsuccessfully record myself doing so. I won't bother. I've got a tripod somewhere that uh, I could put my camera on there. Actually, it's down there on the floor. It's a rather soggy package, actually. It's like it's been wet. You don't really want to come apart. Look at that. It's, it's definitely been wet. It's been obviously the, uh, the van's been a bit damp. But there we go, it is a battery testing device, also from Top Dom. They're obviously quite pleased with uh, my promotion of their product. And uh, I will obviously tell you if it's any good. But actually, that's not the point. The idea of this is it tells me whether a battery is any good. So then I can tell you whether this is any good at telling me whether a battery is any good. Yeah, that's the way. So, presumably, by using this, I can find out if it's wasted my time to charge a battery in the first place. To end this little video off today, I just thought I'd show you Gladys parked safely away. And, as you can see, this is no longer illuminated. Until I put the ignition on, and then it won't go off again. So, it's not the actual switch after all. And now it's time to end the show 
with Gladys and Mr. Mitch. Happy together. <laughs> I say irrelevant because because uh, obviously it's not what the channel's about but the fact that there is a house move on the go means there's a major interruption with video making one of the big reasons for this move is that uh, I no longer have to spend so long driving about yes of course I've spent all week doing it in the car every day boot loaded up and then finally yesterday in Mr. Mansley's van Mr. Rover Revival very kindly lent me his van to where I did another three trips worth of big things yesterday so now of course we're near the school we're near the shop which is exactly why I'm now going to a shop called Tesco I've just been to a shop called Asda and now I'm going to one called Tesco to see if they have the item in Tesco that Asta couldn't provide. Have you ever wondered this about traffic warnings? I've seen some cars, you know, they pay for a ticket to park, stick it on the glass, and then once they're finished, they don't peel it off. And then they just keep on sticking them on there seen some glasses full of these little stickers so presumably when they go and park there again they put the sticker on there does that traffic one have to read through all of those or does it just say I haven't got time for this you're having a ticket because I can't clearly see that you've paid that's kind of irrelevant to what I'm talking about today but that's the way it goes Tesco, 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 Tesco. It says it's up there. So that's where we must be. Tesco. Now, gosh, this is busy here. What an incredibly popular place Tesco happens to be. I'd like to park there, but people have left trolleys there. So I'm not going to do that. I'll go around the other side. Now, there's plenty of spaces in between cars, but I don't park in between other people's cars for one simple reason. Yep, they're just not very careful. Now you know the difference between a cake and a biscuit, that a biscuit will go soft if kept out of the tin and the cake will go dry if kept out of the tin so does that mean that if you've got a cake and you leave it to go dry is it then a biscuit or if you've got a biscuit and you leave it out exposed in conditions of high humidity so it goes soft then is it actually a cake seen a few people knocking around with getting them and then I've just seen a lady driving the other way which has caught my eye because it looked like she had some sort of uh, Halloween mask on and then I had a second look and discovered she was just a woman. Do you do that? I wonder if any of my followers here are familiar with this car because um, I know tonight I'm going to make myself somewhat unpopular because I'm going to take this car home instead of taking Alfie the Rover 45 that looks normal home. I'm going to take this home instead because all week I've just not been out of the yard and I feel sorry for it. And weekends are supposed to be what Nigel is all about, enjoying having a, a drive in a very, very distinctive car and 
feeling free. Oh yeah, and I was just about to dash home. But I'm not going to now because uh, I realised it's about an hour earlier than what I originally intended. Today is that day where the clocks go back, which for every person ever is always just a little bit disorientating. So how do you think it makes me feel? Anyway, I'm sick of the rain. And the first mention of Nigel going home, going on a little trip out somewhere. And what happens? The sun comes out. Honestly, the only reason I'm taking this home is because it's got petrol in. It's not to embarrass you. That is a message for my wife and why I'm taking this home tonight. And it's one that she won't see because I won't show the video. And I won't show the video because it's basically nonsense. It's just petrol. It's not like what petrol's left in this car is the only petrol I'm ever going to buy again. I'm going to have to buy some more anyway. So I could just put it in the other car, couldn't I? But the absolute truth is, I get some joy out of embarrassing her. And that's why she's not going to see this, because she doesn't know that. But I do. She's not a particularly showy person. So to sit there, doing this all the time, when she can see people looking, makes me laugh, but not out aloud. No, I make sure I do it just inside. Nice little, funny, warm, tickly laugh that only I know about, and you know about as well now. Maybe that's really cruel. Maybe I am a very cruel man after all. I always thought it was quite a nice chap, but this proves otherwise. There you go, 30. Yes, yeah, slow down at this point. There's loads of other reasons I'm going to use as well, should I need the ammunition? Such as, we haven't finished cleaning out the old house yet, and this car is more practical because the seats go down. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Especially as, I know, they don't even need to go down. The kind of things that are going in there are not going to be anything that won't either fit in the boot or in the back seat anyway. Oh, there we go, there's another thing. Yeah, I don't want my lovely Rover 45 being filled up with rubbish. I can just keep on going. So many excuses, if you like, for bringing Nigel home that I'm about to use instead of just being honest and saying, I want to use this car today. Now, there we go, there's another cross on me, not only Am I a despicable man, but I'm cowardly as well. And that is going to be the end of today's video, which is also yesterday's and the day before the day before that video all put together.